Okay. You don't think AJ is resilient? You don't think AJ has a chin? Who has knocked me out like that? Like, well, like this? No, that, that is not what they mean. It's like, we both are going to look for a knockout. People underestimate me. I asked for this fight. I watched him fight, and then I made, I made a tweet. Why? By the way. Well, because there was an opportunity. I know that he was going to fight uh, Deontay Walder, and I saw an opportunity there. I made a tweet. Uh, for this fight I was calling for that fight I'll do whatever it takes I will be victorious I have my own legacy my own chapter my own destiny that's destined by God with his performance against uh, Tyson when I look at this fight you know I'm not I'm not a fool I know I know that AJ is a great is great at his game I respect that if I wasn't in the fight I would have been betting on AJ but as I'm in the fight I'm betting on me and I would take everything that I have in my stomach to come after AJ and do everything that's possible to take him down. And if needed to knock him out, that's how I'm going to come after him. You know, like, just as a sport man, but still want to, like, mm. knock him out. Like, ah, I'm going to do that, you know, for my own legacy, for my own record, for, for it. So that's how I view I view the fight. <laughs> and those are some of the words from Anthony Joshua and Francis Ungano. The face off on the zone. Just watched it in its entirety. And for the most part, it was pretty it was pretty cordial, respectful, calm, most importantly. You have two big guys you know, across from each other. Francis is looking at a day. <laughs> AJ's looking at whoever the hell is outside and a day and then viewing back, rearing back um, at Francis. And one thing I got to add, man, I, I think Francis is a like naturally bigger dude, like jaw, neck, head, like a cinder block, big bro. He's like, AJ is mostly, and I keep, I, ha I have to keep reminding people, Anthony Joshua, his natural physique is not muscle. He's more of a lean, he's a tall, lean guy. That's why he gets mad or he got, he got livid when Dillian White, after Dillian White knocked out Derek Chisora, he called him a lanky piece of, you know what I mean? And AJ was pissed because I think AJ has a complex about being skinny. You know, I, I know I had one because I was, I was like a bean pole. But uh, yeah, they're they're totally two different sizes. Francis is a lot bigger. <laughs> He's a lot bigger, and it's just when Francis said, "I will go with everything in my gut to knock out AJ." I said, oh, yeah, we got to fight. And then that's where that mental comes in, you know, and him saying that I don't think that uh, uh, AJ would have got up. And I think this is the problem. People look at that Andy Ruiz fight and the Andy Ruiz fight was a fight that people questioned Anthony Joshua's chin. They questioned his mindset. They questioned his heart. They questioned a lot of things because Andy hit AJ with a left hook that just stopped everything, the momentum, the everything. You know, he was gassed out. You know what I mean? He, he Like he didn't have any energy left, you know, and that's not the first time we saw that. We saw that before. Vladimir hit him in the sixth round, and then the, he struggled in the seventh and the eighth and the ninth. He was still kind of all over the place. Like, he didn't have any energy. I'm like, okay, you know, where did this guy's energy go? You know, and, and that, that, that those muscles, bro, those muscles that he, you know, had to uh, uh, carefully sculpt and, 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 and build, you know, that requires something that his body and his heart and his lungs wasn't naturally ready to prepare for. That's why he would get tired like that again. Francis is a naturally big dude. Yeah, he works out and stuff, sure. But he would have been a big dude anyway. So let's say if Francis never picked up a weight a, a day in his life, 
he still would have been, you know, solid. It's just some people are naturally built just muscular. And, you know, so you can tell you could just he's just pretty much, you know, uh, uh, trimmed off the fat and, uh, you know, uh, chiseled up a bit just by working out. But again, naturally, he would have been big. Naturally, he would have been strong. And he's just I think he's bigger, you know. So uh, I think this comes down to punching power. You know, uh, yes, AJ hits harder than Tyson. Tyson had problems keeping uh, Francis back. Will AJ be able to do that? Will Francis be able to hurt AJ? Okay. Will AJ do the same thing when he gets hurt? We don't know. See, it's a lot to deal with in this fight. And it's always that fight before the fight that you want. You know? Like Francis said it best, AJ's like, look, I'm going for the championship. You know, this was a gimmick fight to me. I First of all, I turned it down. You know, he explained that. But now, you know, this gets me to undisputed. Well, Francis was like, okay, that's good. I'm looking at the championship and all, but I'm focused on this fight first. See, that's a totally different mindset. He ain't worried about, okay, well, what happens after this? AJ's more at war about, hey, well, I'm a, when I win, I'm going to move forward. You know, whereas Francis, this is Ford. Okay, so yeah, the mindsets are totally, totally different. And one thing I'll say about AJ, you better be careful with that because that Andy Ruiz fight was a voluntary fight, you know, and he was doing the same shit. Okay, he was doing the same shit. He was saying, hey, let's, let's look past this. I'm looking past Andy Ruiz, around Andy Ruiz, but not at Andy Ruiz. And he paid for that because Andy Ruiz was ready for the fight of his life, especially after he got dropped the first time in his career to get back up to shock the world against Anthony Joshua. So, you know, there is a lot uh, to deal with. And it's a lot of innuendos. It's a lot of things that didn't have to really be said, but, you know, understood, you know, about this face off. They're sitting there looking at each other, you know. And if you notice, AJ had, you know, came out with some, Niger dialogue, like, mm, mm -hmm, mm, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You know, you you see, heard him do that a lot because when two Africans talk, they do a lot of those, uh, those gesturings when, you know, and, and it's just basically like, Hey, yeah, I, you know, I hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm, mm. You know, I, you know, I, I dated an African girl for a very long time. So, you know what I mean? You, <laughs> you get familiar with hearing, certain things and AJ was wrong, you know, was going back and forth, but like Africans don't, you know, really get erupted. Okay. They don't get really alarmed like that. They're mostly calm. So in their demeanor, you know, the, to, to, to have this, this strength is, you know, you're calm, meaning you're confident, not like, what do you want to do? You know, no, 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 none of that DMX, you know, off the wall in your face type stuff. So, yeah, I, I liked it. The The face-off was good. Uh, a lot of people would prefer Johnny Nelson. You know what I mean? I don't know what Johnny's doing, but, you know, but, I mean, this is a DAZN, uh show, okay? But, nonetheless, I enjoyed it. You guys tell me what you think of the face-off between Anthony Joshua and Francis Ngannou. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys can counterpunch. Peace!